Hello everyone, welcome. Sims Chic here with another speed build today. And if you are a new subscriber or a just a new visitor stopping by, welcome. I'm so happy to have you and happy you actually clicked on this speed build. And if you are a reoccurring subscriber that got a notification that I uploaded, hello. I am so happy that you are back. And yeah, as you guys saw from the title, this is, um, I'm calling it Retirement Community. Now I know it's only two sims that live here, but I still feel like these um, elderly sims still have each other, and um, I feel like they would create their own bond and become their own special community within each other and their families. So I thought that was a really nice idea and concept behind it. Um, I didn't want to call, recall it, um, like, assisted living or anything like that. I just wanted it to kind of be, like, maybe, um, grandma or grandpa, they retired and now they want to move into a smaller home and, um, just that sort of thing. So, yeah, and I'm kind of off to, I was kind of off to a slow start at the beginning. The way I, like, make houses sometimes, I just sometimes don't even have anything in mind I just kind of start like building drawing shapes so that's kind of how this started and then as the build went on um, like I said I just kind of went with it being like a retirement community and that an elder sim lived here so yes we are on the first house and I was thinking that the um, sim that lived here was a grandma. She uh, loves her family. She's very old-fashioned. Um, loves, you know, that more country, chic style, that rustic. Um, a little bit more. And I made both of the houses the same uh, size. I think I made one of the bedrooms... Um, a little bigger on the other one but that's like not a huge deal as long as they're the same size I don't really care but uh, yeah right now what you see me doing I was trying to create like a table for like coffee that like grandma or grandpa or you know your elder sim whoever would make in the morning get their day started that sort of thing but I wasn't liking what I was getting when I was trying to create something uh, eventually I do go with a corner rounded cabinet like a counter and I put it in the corner you'll see but eventually it work, works better I really tried to make this work as you can tell I even like cluttered it really thought that it was going to like be in the build and I was going to keep it <laughs> but I didn't and that's when you see me put that like I said round um, like cabinet whatever you want to call it like I said, in the corner with the coffee maker. So I thought that was a nice touch. Um, I feel like I should have done like the kitchen in like a brown color to match like the rest of the house. Um, but I mean, like it is what it is. Like I said, I think it all ties really well together. So and I'm really working on this coffee pot, guys. I was like really determined to like get this idea in the build. Um, <laughs> and she also has a very high-tech coffee pot, so grandma will have no troubles or anything like that when getting her coffee, so that's good. So we're finally starting to furnish the living room now, and as you saw, I did put the couch from Parenthood in there. I thought, that, again, that was the perfect fit. It really fit the space that I was kind of going for. I do change it to, it's like a blue... Um, like aqua color I do pick that one so um, but yeah and it has like the wood on it so the, again it definitely goes well with the whole theme of this house I was thinking and I kind of thought that was funny that little table in the corner that had the computer on it I was thinking like grandma got like this old computer she's been lugging around and she just has this old little little table that she puts her old computer on and she sits at her desk and she, you know, plays on her computer. I thought that was, like, so perfect and awesome. Um, I, older people love their games, guys. 
from my personal experience. They love their games. I love it. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So the living room's um, almost done, pretty much. I think it might be done. I think I just have to go back and like put some decorations up, maybe some more clutter. But it's not that huge of a deal. So now we're on the bedroom. Uh, well, kind of. You saw me put a bed in there. And then I was like thinking that like did I make the house too small because I wanted like a place where like the elder sim could like do stuff with their grandkids. So eventually I do address the floor plan a little so I can put um, the game Don't Wake the Llama. <laughs> it's kind of like Jenga in real life. But I put that, I was able to fit that in there so I was happy about that. And I've been on this kick where I've been like inserting the headboard into the wall. So it kind of looks like the bed doesn't have a headboard, it just has like a bed frame. And it's kind of like a easy way to feel like you have like a new content. <laughs> um, just kind of pushing it back in the wall. It's kind of like you have a brand new bed you didn't have before in the game. <laughs> so I thought that was nice. I've been um, trying not to do it in every build, but, um, but yeah, I really, really like it. And again, the bedroom of reflecting what I was thinking for the Elder Sim, like I said, um, old fashioned, is um, likes those darker color, darker tones. I love that chair over there with the lamp. I thought that was nice. A little sitting area grandma or grandpa can do uh, when getting ready in the morning, that kind of thing. And just kind of trying to figure out the front of the house. I really wasn't really sure about the window layout, where windows were going to go. And here you see me trying to put uh, these locker bookcases in. Uh, like I said, I um, wanted somewhere like where they could hang out, the like grandchild and grandparent. And I also wanted to put in these lockers as like little areas for the grandkids to like store their belongings or you know whatever they had in mind, that kind of thing. Just like I said, a place for the grandkids to put their stuff. So they feel like when they go to grandma or grandpa's house, they have um, kind of like a second home there. So yeah, and you just let me put that table in. So that was, um, I was happy about that. I was worried again, like I said, I wasn't able to fit that, but I did. And um, yeah, like I said, then we're on to kind of putting some decorations up in the living room. Um, I did put like that, like, it looks like it's holding files that was on the table that the coffee maker was on. I feel like that's kind of like a place where like grandma puts her bills and important papers, that sort of thing. And I also feel like this grandma, since like I said, um, or grandpa, whoever, I feel like they're such a family person, so I feel like there is photos everywhere. Um, personally, like my grandparents, um, photos everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, y you just know what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about this particular sim, like I said, just loves family, so. And now we're on to the bathroom. This uh, house was actually really easy to, like, furnish and design. I, I kind of had struggled with the other house, which uh, I'll talk more about when we get there, but for now, we're on this one. But I really wanted to make sure that they had a tub in case they had like a toddler come over uh, like to watch them or stay the night they can give them a bath and take care of them that sort of thing and I'm pretty sure we're almost done with this house actually and oh nope clutter behind the couch which I was kind of thinking oh I put candy as well candy out in the living room when the kids come over they have some candy <laughs> um, and just kind of put some more clutter on the ground right in that corner you guys kind of see like a shirt a shoe it's you know it's it's an um elder's house and it's they have grandkids and it's just definitely lived in and i love it i don't know <laughs> but yeah and i not a big fan of putting cars in the game like upscaling the cars and making them look like real cars. I don't know why, I just think it's kind of dingy. I'm sorry, don't come at me. Um, just not my personal preference. I wish we had like real cars in the game. Drives me insane, guys. Um, but I did upscale um, a truck and like 
a SUV type car and I like made driveways because when I finished the build it felt like something was like missing and when I added that it just kind of made it come together more and it made it feel like a um, what this would be considered like a community lot um, or it might be considered like residential I don't know I just wanted to feel like um, it was owned and ran by like someone who knew what they were doing and like kept it looking nice that sort of thing so like uniformed even though there is like tall grass everywhere <laughs> I've been like obsessed with the tall grass lately in the game I don't know why it just like looks so satisfying it's like this like tall grass I imagine like blowing in the wind and I'm just like so freaking ready for spring guys uh, I live over in America in Ohio and like I said just so ready for spring nice weather <sighs> yes <laughs> but so we're finally on the second house and we're doing the bedroom first the bedroom um, kind of it wasn't the worst part of the build but it was definitely like I just couldn't get a theme going and eventually I did um, I was like I said kind of thinking this um, older sim uh, I was thinking cat lady or cat man whoever I was really thinking a dog sim particularly um, but yeah I was thinking like cats a cat lived here with a sim um, didn't really have any like family left maybe had like one child um, like or a brother or a sister just didn't have like uh, much of anyone left and they have their lovely pet along with them so, yeah, and eventually I decided to go with, like, kind of like a modern, but, like, a few pops of, like, bright colors throughout this house. Um, eventually you guys, you will guys see, but I love that, that end table that's in the bedroom that you guys just saw. That is from, um, Island Living? No, Jungle Adventures. That's from Jungle Adventures, I'm pretty sure. And I thought that was so cool how it had like the different color like slabs of wood on it I thought that was really neat and like different I've never really used that um end table before but it's definitely something I'm going to be using more often um just like really cool like I said so and we are um just doing the kitchen now it's definitely set up the same I didn't want to make them too different uh, again, like in real life, at a lot of these places, they are uniformed, the same, um, inside and out almost, not with like furnishing wise sometimes, but definitely with like the floor plan and a layout of like where the bathroom is located, like where the toilet is at in there, that sort of thing. So, and just having a hard time kind of getting a, getting a feel for this apartment. Um, I don't know why guys, I just couldn't picture like a cat lady like there I don't know why I was just kind of like struggling like I said but I mean like we all we all have our like our off days our bad days and just kind of kind of just kind of got to push through that sort of thing so and I was going to do these cute mailboxes but when I added the driveway part like I said it didn't look right which you guys see um when I put it in I don't take out the mailboxes until after so and just putting some garden in on the outside um, I just wanted it to kind of be like ground cover and a couple rose bushes nothing like super fancy or extreme because um, there again this is elder sims living here and um, I just couldn't see like a lot of yard work being done and if there is um, any like manual labor being done in the yard then they would either have to have their scarecrow help them out or call, call a gardener um, because in the game the elders can get tired and almost die from over exhaustion <laughs> so and you know maybe the sim like was a vet at one point and like that's why they have these pictures of like the cats on the wall and like the flowers and like maybe they were like a veterinarian and like creating medication for sim animals that sort of thing you know guys I have yet to like 
play and try the veterinarian career in the game. Um, I feel like it's kind of going to be like the get to work where you like become a doctor where you have to um, like observe their symptoms and then like make a guess at what they have. And I just kind of feel like the the um, doctor career one, I just personally like struggle with that one. And I feel like if I struggle with that one, then I feel like I'm going to struggle with the veterinarian one. Maybe it's a little different. Let me know in the comments below if you've played it. Because like I want to know and like if it really is like a lot of fun, then I would definitely play it. But it's definitely something I'll think about in the future. So, And we just did the bathroom and I was actually, I haven't played much with pets in the game. I know. Um, <laughs> they run away so often. If you don't, like, pet them for, like, two days in the game, they, like, run away. So, I don't want to really play with them too often. But I put a door in because I wasn't sure if, like, a cat could, like, open the door to get to the litter box. So, I was just, like, confused <laughs> on that part. And I put a door in for him. So, we just finished up the living room for the most part. Um, put some toys in there for him and a little scratch um, post and I also put some food bowls outside because maybe the sim feeds the other stray animals and I also put a litter box out there just in case um, again if your sim does have like animals wandering the cats can use a litter box maybe I don't know if stray cats use the litter box or not I don't know <laughs> But and I was going to do a gazebo, but I didn't like how it looked. This backyard, it needed, I eventually figure out, you know, obviously a good look for it. But it just needed not your typical backyard look. I don't know how to explain it. I just, it just needed to, again, be uniformed, like neat and clean and like... You'll see eventually what I do with the fencing. It really like makes a huge difference of how I design the fence uh, and that sort of thing. But I was like, really dedicated to getting this gazebo in there. I was really excited. I loved how the shadows of the roofing from the gazebo looked on the ground. I love that roofing in general, all of the glass roofing. Something you definitely can't go wrong with from time to time, of course. But yeah, I, like I said, I do delete it. Oh, and here we go. Um, you see me add the driveway finally. And like I said, I feel like that was a really nice touch. And then I went through and I went back and um, changed like the outline around the garden area. I use the fencing I use for like the garden area. It's from Get to Work. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's from Get to Work. The fencing, like I said, I use. It kind of like creates a border for you. So, and then I was going to put the truck on the side with the grandma or grandpa that had, like, the grandkids, but then I feel like if she, he or she has the grandkids over, then are they really going to take them in that truck? Because I, d I wanted to do two different vehicles on the lot, so I decided to give the um, sim with grandchildren the, like, SUV vehicle, and then the other sim, like I said, that was, like, a cat lady I was thinking um, like a truck. Maybe they're into gardening. You know, I don't know. Maybe they have hobbies, uh, that sort of thing. But yeah, and I was going to put like a sign in to make it look like more realistic and eventually I find one. But I wanted again for this to feel like a little commercialized, like I said, just like in order, that sort of thing. I definitely feel like I, I definitely feel like I hit that like I got that across I feel like so um, but yeah I was definitely pleased with this and I have actually been sitting on this build for about two weeks or like a week and a half maybe I finally got around to finishing in it and I'm happy I did um, I don't like when I just have like random builds and just keep starting new ones I'm really bad about that um, I have a couple that I still haven't gone and finished but it is what it is so and just um kind of going through the build and fixing a few things uh right before I recorded this I did a walkthrough and kind of took some notes of what needed to be changed and fixed 
so um, I am doing that right now and one of those was I didn't like how the headboard was hiding in the wall in the, for this bed I just like I said didn't like that look and in the bedroom this one is where I put a few pops of like yellow in there thinking maybe like like Sal is it Salvador is that what it's called on the game or maybe like they are um, like a beach is it island child or something um child island island of the water and like i and then child of the island or something maybe like one of those symbols up here i don't know guys whatever you want to do you know your gameplay but this is just what i was thinking when i was going through and designing it that sort of thing and i just put some treats in for the cat <laughs> to make sure that he had some so yeah, like I said, I was really happy with how it um, all turned out overall. Um, just kind of adding some pots and plants on the front porch of this um, home and I wasn't sure of what kind of fencing to use on the front porch. I wanted something that was like not overwhelming but like didn't look, didn't look out of place but didn't blend in either if that makes sense. So I played around with a few and then I finally went with one that is actually from City Living. Um, I really like this one a lot. It's definitely different and I just felt like it looked really nice on this build. And also I added a few pops of that like aqua color on the front porch and I felt like that really complemented the house and the build. It just all looks really great I think. Um, I was kind of thinking I should have went with a different type of concrete, one that had like lines in it, so it wouldn't be like a solid white on the game. Um, but maybe, like next time maybe, you know, if I ever create something like this again, keep that in mind, that sort of thing. And you guys just saw what I did with the fence. So I really like this idea I did. Um, definitely was it something that the build was missing. It was, it kind of, these homes are like ranch homes and I feel like the fence that I did kind of reminds me of something you would see <clears throat> on like a ranch style home and like just yeah I don't know <laughs> if that made any sense it's just like a fencing you would see with a ranch style home that sort of thing so and I just made like a little garden area like I said just wanted it to be like uniformed and like feel like like, I don't know, like, all tied together, but, like, had those commercial elements. So I did that little garden area right there. And added a swing set because I feel like any, like, retirement community, you're going to more than likely have a family that comes over and visit. And half the time, the kids are going to be with them. So I thought I should add a swing set. And then I added a pool and made sure to put a gate on it for safety reasons, obviously. Um... Uh, if you guys don't know this, I am a very realistic designer of the game. I like to clutter it and make it feel lived in and just like like I said, realistic. So yeah, and I've never used this awning before that is by the pool. So that was a new thing for me. So yeah guys, I really hope that you did enjoy this build. Um, if you did hit that subscribe button and um i upload just about every day of the week and i just started a new let's play so yeah if you like this video like i said give it a thumbs up uh any comments or, su or suggestions let me know in the comments below and i will talk to you guys soon have a great morning night afternoon wherever you are bye guys